Life's intended to be a battle. We're in to survive. We're in to compete. We're in to achieve. Giving up isn't in my nature. And it isn't in our nature. It isn't in our country's nature. It isn't in our children's nature. It isn't in ours and it wasn't for sure in our parents. So what are our options? I'm in this to the end. Whenever that is. To say the country requires work. And it requires sacrifice. So it requires us to do things beyond what we would normally do. Americans are willing to sacrifice for a great cause. A great cause is our grandchildren. A great cause is liberty. A great cause is freedom. A great cause is working for the betterment of our society. And we do that best when we do that together as citizens. I don't care what the political class thinks. But it is unconscionable to me that when we spend their money, that we're wasting 15 to 20 percent of it all the time. And America doesn't trust you anymore. That's the truth. Because they don't see the actions coming out of Congress that should be coming out. And, and that's not one party, that's both. I spent 10 years up here in the Senate and left early because I don't see a solution in the U.S. Senate and the U.S. Congress to fix what's wrong with our country. And if you look at history, all republics eventually fail over the same thing. I've been there, I've seen it, it stinks. It's about them, it's not about us. And so I left looking for another method with which we can cheat history. And our founders gave us this wonderful tool with which to treat the real disease. And it's called Article 5. The only thing that's going to fix our country is a convention of states where we rebalance the relationship between the three branches of the federal government and rebalance the relationship between the states and the federal government. Where we limit the terms, we force the government to balance its books. That means we have to sacrifice. That means I'm on the road 200 days a year. But our country's worth it. Our kids are worth it. Our children are worth it. And our grandchildren are worth it. Come help us restore what is rightfully ours in this country today. Thank you and God bless you. My message to you all today is we can fix every problem in front of our country, but you have to do it because Washington will never do it. You're the leaders. You're the ones that are gonna make the difference. You're the ones that are going to enthuse, you're going to activate, you're going to motivate, you're going to mentor. Leadership's about standing on principle but building consensus at the same time. And it means you take heat, you take discomfort, because you know the goal for which you are achieving is worth sacrificing for. So the question for me is, the rest of my life, will I work to secure the future for the next generation and do that by promoting a convention of states that will restore the fundamental freedom, freedoms that secure our liberty, that secure our future, and secure the next two generations. So it's my great honor and privilege to bring up my very close friend, Tom Coburn, to work in the Lifetime Achievement. So my charge to you as you leave here today is let's go and win because I believe this country can cheat history. This republic doesn't have to die. This republic can survive. This republic can achieve more 
than we have ever achieved before. So let's go do it.